Primarily, I see this space as a base for education because students from different fields can come in and find something fascinating because there are so many things in here that incorporates different fields, different areas of interests. I find that it's very unique in that sense. I think it's important to have seminars like this and it's important to have conservation studios like this as well, just for us to see what our, how our disciplines can connect to other things. Because we always think that, for instance, the sciences are set in stone into like one direction, but we never see how science can connect to history. I mean, they're two different fields. <laughs> you always think about them being two different fields, but really they can be one. As a science student, just seeing all this different technology and applying technology from the future um, to analyze works of the past is just amazing. It's very, very unusual for students to be able to get hands-on access to manuscripts. It's one thing for students to be told about the theory of uh, books and how books are printed or repaired or conserved. It's another thing for them to see it. They also um, got to start thinking about the importance of conservation, restoration, making these things available for the future. Looking at these old rare books and looking at the technology around us is kind of the perfect combination to define my book and media studies because it's a combination of changing media and how it affects us. So being in the space and looking at these rare books really encourages us to think about the book less as text and meaning and more as a marker in history. At St. Mike's we put a lot of emphasis on the experiential learning, whether that's through classrooms, in the field, internationally, and this gives a unique experience for students that are interested in printed material, manuscripts and books. And as a centre originally of medieval studies here at the University of Toronto, it's a nice uh, place for students to come and learn in practical ways what they've learned in the classroom. The one thing I like about this space is that you can see inside the conservation studio. Uh, you don't really hear much about conservation studios in like other places because they're usually closed off or they're put in other areas. Sometimes we have the idea that a conservation studio should be separate from the people who do not work with books. We, I don't think it's, it's true. Like we all should uh, try to dialogue with uh, books and how it's, it's our history, right? It's, it's great to have an interaction. In class, we were talking about different stages of the production of, from the manuscript page. And then you come to the conservation studio and you just see that the repairs for those books are still happening in this multi-purpose studio. Any student working with primary source documents, um, to give them an opportunity to build visual literacy by being able to actually handle and look at these objects in a new way, it's, it's incredible to have them here in-house. Being here in the studio really reminded me of the importance of taking care of our materials, whether personal, um, shared, like library books and archives. It really brought forward the significance of protecting our cultural history. When I, I think about books, I always think about the story told by words. But when I came to a conservation studio, there is a story of the book. And uh, who made that book? who read that book and how many times it was open and the binding, where it came from, all these questions. In a digital era, what kind of traces are, are we going to leave, you know, for the future?